Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Supermicro's Hardware Supply Chain Dystopian Nightmare. Wow, that was a mouthful to say, but this really is kind of a science fiction-like dystopian nightmare that was information security professionals' biggest fear for a long time. Today, Bloomberg released a story and a scoop all about how a hardware manufacturer called Supermicro, who makes motherboards for servers and other hardware like that, has had a backdoor chip embedded in its technology since 2015. And allegedly, it was the Chinese People's Liberation Army that has gotten Supermicro to embed this microchip in its technology. And with it, they can basically take full control of your computer and steal a ton of information over the network. Now, do know these are allegations based on 17 unknown sources that worked at various places like Amazon and Apple. There's not a whole lot of technical evidence going on yet, but it does seem like these journalists are following good journalists practices. In any case, the most recent part of this story started around when Amazon was purchasing a company that does video compression. And it just happens that the hardware they use for these video compression servers use technology from Supermicro, a company that makes, a, again, a ton of server motherboards and other hardware technology for servers. In any case, Amazon, in part of their due diligence, actually sent uh, this software and this hardware to a company to kind of penetration test it and make sure it was secure. And during that time, a third party company found a tiny little chip added to a server motherboard. This chip is smaller, much smaller than a penny. Really, it's kind of the point of a pencil, very hard to find on a motherboard. But this chip could essentially man in the middle the CPU on your computer and the other buses that your motherboard uses to communicate to other things like your network card. And because of this, remote attackers could essentially, over the network, take over your computer and inject whatever code they want into your CPU. Because of the way this is buried so deep into the hardware, not only is it hard to find, but there's really no way you'd be able to catch this. Your computer, your operating system, neither of them really have a clue that a chip on the board is kind of hijacking what they're doing. Now, the story also talks about Apple. Apparently, even earlier than this Amazon acquisition, Apple was also considering using super microservers in their infrastructure as well, but they eventually kind of removed all those super, super microservers, and they weren't clear why they removed it, but allegations in this particular article suggest that it could be because they found this type of backdoor too. And since then, the US government has been informed by Amazon, according to the article, and they've investigated this as well. According to them, the PLC, or China's People's Liberation Army, uh, were the ones that kind of extorted or bribed different supply chain vendors to inject this chip level backdoor. Now, one thing to note, it's still unclear whether or not Supermicro, which is a, a US-based company, knows about or has anything directly to do with this alleged hardware supply chain hack. You may or may not know this, but when a US company outsources hardware to, say, a Taiwanese company for manufacturing, there's actually lots of different manufacturing companies involved. Sometimes there's different fabs at different locations. Sometimes certain chips or cards might be sent to Shanghai or, or otherwise. So it's not just one company in one place that manufactures all the components on a motherboard. It could involve China, it could involve Taiwan, it could involve many companies. But in any case, uh, according to this report, at least some of the boards for Supermicro were outsourced to some Shanghai lot locations, and that's where the PLC agents may have tried to infiltrate uh, this manufacturing process and add this backdoor chip. In any case, this is really a scary, almost sci-fi-like story. If you think about it, 90% of our PC parts are actually manufactured in countries like China. A lot of our mobile phones. I think the article mentioned 75% of mobile phones are manufactured there as well. 
So if the government there wants to backdoor that hardware, not only is it very difficult to find these backdoors, but it actually puts suspicion on pretty much all of PC hardware. So I find it very disheartening if this type of story is true. Now to be clear, the article doesn't say that everything ever made by Supermicro has this type of backdoor. In fact, according to the article, it seems to only be targeting 30 companies. But the fact that a nation state actor has infiltrated the hardware supply chain so early into the process is very scary. This could have economic implications. Can we trust hardware from one country or are we going to have to start moving manufacturing to different places despite the potential increase in cost? Anyways, this is a super interesting story. So what can you do about it? Well, right now there's not a whole lot you can do about it. There's not a lot of technical details. All of these are allegations. I would like to see more evidence to make sure this is really true and not some sort of mistake in the reporting, but it is definitely something to keep your eye out on. The one thing I will say is when hardware is compromised so deeply at this level, you really can't trust security controls on the hardware itself. Any sort of endpoint security on the hardware may not be able to find this threat or even know that uh, that hardware has been compromised. However, the good news here is network security can help. This compromised hardware had to communicate back to command and control servers somewhere on the network. Now, being that this is a very sophisticated actor, they probably took some measures to hide that communication. But theoretically, network devices could detect that communication and block it. So as we learn more about this type of threat, we'll certainly look at ways that we can detect this using We'll